Well, I'm going to have to make some phone calls. <laughs> A lot of embarrassing phone calls I made before this was averted. Oh, yeah, and uh, another thing. I I don't know how to say this, but, you know, um, uh, yeah, I'm sorry I said those things last night. It was very embarrassing. You know, I honestly believe that we're all going to die. God. It's terrible. It's all right. It was the heat of the moment the whole time anyways, and I don't really believe you meant those things. Oh, uh, no. Why would, I believe what I, why would I believe what I'm saying? It's uh, ridiculous. Indeed. Uh, so do you think I should call my cousin back at least? Uh, absolutely not. That would be by far the worst decision you could ever make. What you said to him, you can't unsay. You said a lot of things that were in front of me, and I'm not okay with that. Oh, you're joking, right? What you said was completely and utterly unforgivable. Like, I can understand when the world was going to end, but the world is back. Freedom of speech or not, court of a public opinion is going to string you up. <clears throat> Forever. Mm. Sure, there's the occasional those people, but that's as hard as it goes these days. But people say it every day. Yeah, it only works for people who are below zero, and you have a reputation to uphold. This is not acceptable for what you just said out there. Well, maybe I can go on TV and apologize. Oh, no. That's not going to work. <sighs> well, well, what if you keep me on payroll and... <sighs> you just don't get it, do you? I I'll just keep my head down? Do my work? Oh, you think that? You think that is as easy as Operation Matchstick, where the U.S. got a bunch of Nazi scientists to do all sorts of science -y stuff over there. But this isn't the case. You're an American, first and foremost. We can't hide you like we had the Nazis. Hmm... Nothing like a little Goodwin Law to start the day. Ugh. That's only funny if people understand the context. <laughs> <laughs>